What do we look for when choosing tech? Well, for many of us, it's the brand, and technical clothing is no exception. But does a high-end name necessarily deliver a better performance? In front of you are three sets of waterproof jacket, each from different brands, each at a different price point. And we've covered the brand names. The reason we do that is so that you're just testing them on how well they perform their duty. No brand allegiances. OK, and when we're done soaking you, you'll tell us which ones have kept you the driest. <laughs> <laughs> but as the weather's not on our side today, we've got our own little rainmaker. Ready to go, Stanley? Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. Do you guys want to get on a jacket number one? And we'll load the water gun. Unbeknown to our plucky couple, the first jacket they're testing is the cheapest in our lineup from Decathlon, and it's priced at just under £30. But with its sealed seams and waterproof coating, it should still stand up to a good downpour. You're both wearing the same model, but Ella, you've got the ladies. Neil, you've got the mans. Should we just get spraying? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Turn round, you two. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is just a lovely misty rain. Amazing how wet a mist can get. <laughs> Good spraying, Stanley. You're doing great. These budget jackets are holding their own so far, but oh dear, the rain's getting heavier. If this feels like an extreme test, then it's because it is. This adventurous family need waterproof jackets that can stand up to the worst of British weather. Notice how the water is beading. <laughs> so we're giving all our jackets a thorough soaking for one full minute. You've also got a stand-up collar and a little peak hood that helps when the rain really comes pouring down. OK, guys, you've got 10 seconds left. And Stop Stanley. Stanley, good job. Oh, look at that. That's brilliant. Can I help you off with that? Wow, you're dry! That's brilliant. That's Despite your son's best intentions and efforts... Is, that, that is it actually that fully dry on the back? You are, you are you're totally dry. dry. So a little bit of leaking going on at the oh, top there, better than yours. Yeah. That was an extreme test, but I think they both handled it quite well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's obviously jacket number one. Let's bring on jacket number two. The second jacket in for a soaking is the most expensive from top-end brand Patagonia. At £170, this jacket has been lab-tested to simulate up to 30 years of use in drenching conditions. So it should withstand a downpour from Storm Stanley. So a lovely fetching pink and yellow jacket. How do they feel? I like it, but it does feel thinner. I think it feels like it's going to fare better than the last jacket. So you feel like it feels a little bit cheaper? Cheaper and thinner, and yeah. I feel like it feels a bit more expensive. Yeah. So you may want to batten on the hatches, oh. get your hoods up, because um, I think a weather front's coming in. It's definitely better facing this way. Yeah, we'll see it. <laughs> I can see the water running off. It's beading very nicely, isn't it? I know I said we go for walks in the rain, but I'm not sure if we're reading this. So you've got three different layers that make up this jacket, and it's made out of recycled nylon. Very impressive beading, I have to say. It is. And stop, Stanley. Good job! Wow! So I'm seeing a pattern here. Look. Bone, bone dry again. The sp it's a spout issue with you. It didn't seem to lock shut. It seemed to just pop back open when I, when I let go of the straps. Despite your best efforts, Stanley, yeah. they're not actually soaked all the way through. Time for jacket number three. Last up for a drenching is our mid-range option from Columbia, priced at £80. This waterproof, stain-resistant and breathable jacket is made from Omnitech and should give a mighty protection from wind, snow and rain. Right, Stanley, make it rain. It's a lovely reminder of the pride you can take in being British. You know, yes, it, goes, it's it's true. it goes from everything, from cups of tea to the weather. Now we're getting that peak action. Yeah. Hopefully no water down the spout. Five, four, three, two, one. Stanley, Stanley stop! stop. <laughs> What's the back like? What? Drier. Drier. Well, driest for driest. you. Driest. Yeah. <laughs> I felt the driest in this one, yeah. but I felt the second choice was comfier to wear. Okay. 
With all three jackets given a good soaking, it's time for Ella and Neil to decide which is best. Will they go for option one, our budget jacket from Decathlon? Option two, the most expensive by Patagonia? Or option three, our mid-range by Columbia? Uh, we both decided we think the last jacket, the third one, performed the best. Interesting. Interesting. And so, therefore, is that the one that you think is the most expensive? Yeah, that was the one we thought was I think the most so, expensive, yeah. yeah. So, I can reveal that that jacket was our mid-price jacket. Oh, okay. OK. And it was made by Columbia, and it came in at £80. Which kept you two very dry. Yeah. What made you choose that jacket in particular? Well, I felt that it made... I couldn't feel the rain so much when it was hitting me. And with you, Neil? Uh, yeah, that was what clinched it. It did its job. It kept the water out the best. It you had toggles the driest, which worked. Yeah. Now, the most expensive jacket was the second one you tried, which is from oh. Patagonia, um, and cost £170. That was the least favourite for me. OK. Which leaves the first jacket being our cheapest jacket. That jacket was by Decathlon, and it came in at £29.99. Oh, I'm going to go get that now. It kept me dry. It didn't feel comfy. It felt plasticky and a bit cheap. Well, thank you so much for being such good sports. Uh, I'll go and let you guys go and get dry. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>